Hey, we're out here today in Southern California at EC Aluminum Polishing, and we're going to show everybody how to take a, a wheel that looks like this. Uh, it's dismounted off of a truck, and we're going to show you how to bring it back to a mirror shine. Okay, we're going to start out here. Prior to start starting the polishing process, we're going to have to sand this wheel. So we got this guy starting out with a 150 grit sandpaper. And we're going to try and knock some of the big stuff off before we get into the polishing process. There's not going to be a lot of wheels you're going to encounter that are in this rough a shape. But once in a while you are, and we're going to show you how easy it is to bring it back to a shine. Alright, now we're going to start the machine polishing process. Start with heavy cutting. He's got a Zephyr Blue Baron wheel on there and the 87 stainless bar rouge. It's going to be for your heavy cut. Anytime you have to sand a wheel or any aluminum, it's best to start with a heavy cutting wheel and a very heavy cutting rouge like Zephyr's 87 stainless bar rouge. It's got a 320 grit emery in it and it's going to help you get the job done a little bit quicker. Remember you don't want to push too hard. You want to let the wheel and the rouge do the work. Now Chewy's going to go into what's called primary cut. He's going to use Zephyr's fast cut buffing wheel with the Tripoli Bar Rouge. Normally, if you don't have to sand the aluminum prior to polishing, this would be your first step, primary cutting. You're already seeing a big difference in this wheel from when we started. We just completed the primary cutting stage. As you can see, it's bringing out a pretty good shine. We're going to move right now into what's called secondary cutting. It's going to use the Zephyr purple wheel with uh, the green chrome rouge. Remember, you want to run these wheels not to exceed the Zephyr's recommended RPMs. All the wheels are marked with uh, the RPMs on them, not to exceed. And also, let the wheel and the rouge do the work. Don't press too hard or too light. Okay, now we're going to go into the final finish. He's using a 10 inch 60 ply cotton wheel with the white chrome rouge. And you want to remember anytime you're doing machine polishing, 
You want to wear gloves and a face shield and some type of respirator. Now you're starting to see that mirror shine. All right, that we just finished up the final finish stage with that 10 inch all cotton 60 ply and the white chrome rouge. Now we're gonna move in. A lot of guys like to use a, a flannel wheel to finish it off with uh, one of the platinum series rouges from Zephyr. And we're gonna show you the flannel wheel with uh, the Moss Jewelers Rouge. This is gonna put the show quality shine on this wheel. Okay, you see we're done with the final finish stage. Now we're going to move into the final wipe down with uh, Zephyr's Pro 40 Perfection Metal Polish. This is uh, the product that's really going to put the mirror shine on this wheel, plus it's going to protect it for a longer period of time. With the Pro 40, all you got to do is shake it up real good, wipe on, wipe off and you're gonna have a beautiful mirror shine. And you can see by that, we got a beautiful mirror shine on this wheel. Look at the difference between where we started and what it looks like now. The metal mirror.